really is the best vehicle for the job. Are you looking for competitive insurance for your business? Please check out Nex. It is a very simple resource that you can seek out insurance for your business. My affiliate link is down below. Do you want to save money filing for your Nex LLC? Check out incauthority.com. My affiliate link is down below. A place where you can potentially file your LLC free. Hey everyone, this is Gil Vergara back again with another video. Welcome to Do My Life where we talk about health, wealth, and automotive passions. Right now it's cold, so there's no passions of automotive at the moment. But today I wanted to talk about, or maybe segue into automotive passions. I want to talk about the independent career journey and what really is the best vehicle for the job, period. The short of it is there's really no right vehicle because it all depends on the job, am I right? The long of it is, hold on. Sorry about that. I had a call about a potential business opportunity. Hey, what are you gonna do? But yes, the vehicle is always a like a, a contentious topic because I mean the long of it is what vehicle, and this is the question I asked myself when I first started this, you know, this journey. What vehicle is going to give me a balance of being able to take in bigger jobs and then still do small jobs and still kind of save on save on the fuel? Obviously, if I get a box truck, I'm gonna get big jobs, but it might cost more in fuel. And where the heck am I gonna park a box truck? All right? Okay. If I get a Sprinter van, yeah, I can I can park it over here. It'll be fine. What other practicalities do I have of it? Because if I did the medical runs right now with my with my sprinter van, with a sprinter van, it would just, it's not practical. It, I would spend too much money in gas. If I get a, like a Honda Fit, which is a great car, economical, super small. If you guys see some of the videos, I put big coolers in there and totes would not be practical for the, you know, for, for the market that I'm into. I narrowed it down to a like small SUV. That's why I chose a Dodge Journey. Now, other choices I believe are great are is um, potentially a forerunner, which if you guys don't know, it, it's over 6,000 pounds. So you can get a really good tax credit for a, to a forerunner. I chose a Dodge Journey because it gave me that balance of it was big enough to put some, some, some decent sized things in. And it's, you know, obviously I can take care of the small stuff. So I have some versatility in that way. Another choice I would have chosen or it will choose probably in the future a Dodge Caravan or a caravan of some sort. Not so much a cargo van, a cargo van because that's an like eight cylinder, right? And sometimes a dollar a mile might not justify the gas you spend for in an eight cylinder. So at this moment right now, I gotta, I have to look more into that right there. For me, it's gonna be like a smaller SUV, right? Or into like the minivans, a Dodge minivan, Honda Odyssey, a Toyota Sienna. And more importantly, any vehicle, any one of those vehicles that you choose something that goes down, like all the seats go down. The great thing about a Dodge Journey is that everything from the front to the back, even the front seat goes down. So I have a good enough space there. I mean, I'm happy with that right now because you're gonna be driving a lot. One other reason why I chose the Dodge Journey is because I do do long runs from time to time. So I need to, you know, sleep like, 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 like most people, right? What's going to happen if I have to rest? I don't want to be sleeping at a hotel that costs too much money. Instead of going to hotels and things like that, I realized that another purpose for the Dodge Journey is I can lay all those seats down. As I said before, I can literally sleep in the back, like splayed out, relaxed, and be able to save some money as well. So that's another benefit that I, I see getting a vehicle like that because I can't, I'm a small guy, but I can't imagine sleeping in a Honda Fit. You know, it, it's just weird. I'm sure you can, but you'd be cramped up by the time you wake up and things like that. At least with the Dodge Journey, I can literally like splay out and then be really, really relaxed. The only thing I'm missing is like an actual bed like in there. I have like a soft little comforter that I put down there. I saw my friend's Dodge Caravan with all the seats down, another perfect one. Like it's like a, it's like a full size bed in there pretty much. Yeah, vehicle wise, it's, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's gonna be your decision. Uh, I just chose to not get, get something too huge where I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be consuming too much gas and not to get something too small where I'm gonna miss out on jobs. So a good balance for me is those smaller SUVs, uh, RAV4, uh, Dodge Journey, I like, it's been great to me. And anything similar to that size, uh, even like uh, maybe a, uh, 
a Traverse, Acadia, and, it, and especially something with all the seats that go down. It really saved me a lot of time and more importantly made me decent money because i can stick more things inside of there it's really up to you comment down below what you believe the ideal vehicle for this job entails understand that it's going to be medical specimens relay coolers tissue donation for boxes and things like that but yeah once again this is guilt over Gara. thank you for checking out the video and i hope this video gave you some type of value and i would love to hear your comments as to what is the perfect vehicle for you if you started in this field or what you're using right now that really suits what you're doing and also comment what you guys do what do you usually deliver and things like that either way take care god bless and my name is Guilt over Gara. bye